Nike Gates families, it's Miss Avery here. Today I thought I would share with you one of our book fair crafts. I'm so sad that we don't all get to experience book fair together, but I know that you're all staying home, staying safe and washing your hands. So today we're gonna make a lion. Isn't he cute? All you're gonna need for this activity is a paper plate, some orange and yellow paint or crayons or markers or whatever you have, if you're gonna use paint, you might need some paint brushes. If you don't have paint brushes, Q-tips or cotton balls or old makeup brushes work just as great. A black marker and a pair of scissors. If you're gonna let your child cut, do the cutting for this activity, I would highly recommend a pair of safety scissors. So first what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up your orange paint and you're just gonna want to paint your plate. I'm not being very precise. I'm just kind of doing whatever I want because you want it to look as real as possible. If you don't have orange paint at home, what colors could you mix to get orange paint? You can mix yellow and red to make some orange paint if you don't have orange. Now I'm gonna take some yellow and just kind of where you see the white spots, that's where I'm gonna go with the yellow. I'm just gonna very gently, very just kind of messily, because I want to look as real as possible, just put in some paint. Because I want it to look as much like a real lion as possible. And just like your head, lions don't all have the same color hair or fur on their bodies. They have some lighter hair and some darker hair. All right, so I'm gonna say that that's good. I'm gonna put the cat back on my paint and I'll wash my paint brushes after I'm done with this. So the paint takes a few minutes to dry. So I went ahead and I prepped a paper plate. So that way I could show you how to finish the craft without having to wait for the paint to dry. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna decide, do you want this to be the top or this or this or this? Where do you wanna be the top? So once you decide that, you're gonna take your marker, draw a circle, and then another circle or ovals, add in some eyes, can you see? And I'm gonna color in that area. And it's not perfect and that's okay adding that in and then I'm going to draw kind of a straight line and then a little half circle. I'm going to color that in and this is going to be my lion's nose. And I'm going to take, draw a straight line down and then I'm going to do a swoop up. Now on this side I'm going to do another swoop up. I'm going to go back in and finish coloring in the nose real quick. So there's our lion, and now you're going to want to take your scissors, and remember your thumb goes in the little hole, and your pointer finger goes in the bigger hole. And I'm just going to take and do some little cuts all the way around my plate, so that way we give him the look of a mane. You could count the cuts as you were cutting. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And then all I do is I just kind of fold the cuts out so that way you can see his mane. What do you think? Are you gonna make a lion? I would love to see if you make a lion, so make sure you post a picture below, okay? Remember, our book fair is open from Monday, April 13th to Friday, April 17th. I hope that you find some fun new books for you and your family. Bye friends, I'll see you later.